hey hi hello welcome back to my channel my name is faith thanks for clicking on the video today's video is a little what i bought this month a little haul of a few things that i've picked up today's video is not going to be very long it's not that many things but let's just get right into it the first store we're going to look at is actually walmart so i have two things from walmart and they're kind of the same genre the first item i actually picked up in store and inspired the second item and it's just this brown leather look work bag if you will it's kind of medium to big medium to large sized the shorter straps are a little bit longer if that makes sense so i feel like it fits perfectly under and isn't too too constricting for me and I love the color honestly I saw it and I wasn't really looking for a bag if you know me I don't carry purses a lot but I saw it in store and I really liked it and I walked away from it and kept thinking about it so I went back and got it it was $35 from Walmart it also comes with a longer strap that you can attach and use with it it has the middle section that divides the other two like a zipper pocket and then a mini side pocket on one end and two pouch pockets on the other end the only thing I will say about the bag is that the long strap is a bit of a different color and like texture to the rest of the bag and it doesn't feel as great as far as quality but the bag is $35 and I think it is really cute and for this size bag I am more likely to use these handles anyway um, so that's just one thing to keep in mind if you're looking at getting it it'll getting it as well I like it because it's not too structured and it is a good like mid-size purse I think I think the design of it just makes it very wearable and I don't know I was drawn to it it has gold hardware I really like the color obviously not my usual black but it is still a neutral brown tone and I'm very excited to wear it and style it out. But yeah, that's piece number one. So after I found that one in store, I decided to look online to find a replacement for my current crossbody bag. I've had that bag for a few years and it's from H&M and the hardware on it is starting to tarnish. So I was just looking for something plain and simple, maybe a little more elevated. Um, I don't have my mind set on any like high-end or designer bags to replace it with, so I just wanted something in the meanwhile that would serve its purpose. So I looked online and that's where I found this one. It's just a small square um, black bag. It has a short handle and also a longer adjustable crossbody strap. Um, the same thing along with the big one, the long strap leaves much to be desired, um, but the mini one is fairly decent. Um, unlike the other bag, this one is more structured, like it holds its shape, it has firm boning, it's like a hard bag it has two metal clasps it also has gold hardware which i like and then for this one the inside is just one big pocket um but i thought this would be nice just obviously not necessarily in quality but in look a nice step up from my current crossbody bag which is literally just a pouch with a zipper and then it has one side zipper in the purse 
but I really like this. I think it's very cute and it can easily, whereas my other purse is kind of just for functionality sake, I feel like this is more of an accessory that can dress up a day-to-day -day casual outfit, which is kind of what I was looking for. So yeah. I don't know, I think this one's so cute. And since it was about $16, I think, it really isn't breaking the bank and it allows me to try out a different style than maybe I'm used to gravitating towards to see if I like it before investing in anything um, more expensive. So that's that one. It also has like little monogram M's on it, which I don't know what the M stands for, but I like that it's monochrome and black because it's still very like basic. Now moving on in our haul, the next item is one you've seen before. It's the Abercrombie Curve Love. 90s straight ultra high rise jean but this time in a size 8 regular or 29 um they're in the black and these are the same jeans that i featured in my last haul just in a size down and i really do think these fit a lot better something that i did notice is i feel like the fabric is actually a bit different these are more of a structured denim, which remind me more of my Princess Polly jeans, which I kind of like because it helps like the fabric fall nicely, I think, especially for a straight leg. Anyway, these fit a lot better. I like the way they look, and now I have another classic black pair in my closet which is just my favorite like I love black jeans I always have my classic would usually be a pair of true black skinny jeans but now I have these to complement to add to my wardrobe and kind of switch it up for versatility so I'm really excited about picking these up and in a new size that fit a little better now still on the jeans train and still on the topic of repeats Ladies and gentlemen, her. They're the Princess Polly Holly asymmetrical straight leg jean, but in the mid blue, the mid wash. Um, and these are also in a size six. So for these ones, I did size down like everyone was recommending. Um, I do like them. I feel like with the smaller size they fit better on my or they look better on my thighs but I feel like with the size up they like sit better on my body whereas like they're maybe a little bit longer they hit the ground but they also cover my belly button type of thing because I feel like with these being a size down they actually have to sit on the smallest part of my waist but to get the length and kind of have them not be too tight on my thighs, I do have to pull them down a little below my belly button. So those I just have to maneuver to figure out if I prefer these or my size 8s. I think the size 8s give like such a cool girl slouchy look. But I think a good, like, a good fitting one that makes you feel, like, snatched <laughs> is also ideal. So I think I'm just going to play around with these. Next up in the haul is just two small things that I picked up from Amazon. Really not all that exciting. Item number one, pens. My favorite pens. Um, I just picked up a three pack from Amazon Black. They're the Pilot Ballpoint pens. They're the pens I use all the time. Um, this is the one by my nightstand just for journaling. 
and um, I don't know. It's good to have extra pens so you can have one in your purse, one in your backpack, one at home on your desk, and one at home on your nightstand. Pens for everyone except no one can have these because these are my favorite pens. So I just have them in blue and black and I just thought I'd pick up a pack of black pens. Nothing too exciting. I like the way they write. I like the way they feel in my hands. They're just my favorite ones at the moment. And last but not least, also from Amazon, I just got these drawer organizers. They come in a pack of four and two of them are this size and two of them are about a half size of this. They all have different style compartments and they come flattened and then just have a zipper on the back that helps it hold its structure. Um, but yeah, I want to do a big closet clean out and just reorganize my closet and honestly my life. So I bought these um, for my drawers. They fit two per drawer and it came in a pack of four. So I will, I'm just currently working to see how they fit and what I can organize in them. But I'm really excited for that because I think it'll just make my closet that little bit more satisfying. Like I feel like I've got my hangers down right now. I have wooden hangers and black velvet hangers. And so I think the drawer organizers will really take it to the next step. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for today's video. Not a lot of things for the month of February, but there's literally nothing wrong with that. I know that some months it may seem like I'm shopping a lot, but in reality, the items that I pick up are probably things I've been thinking about for months, if not over a year, and have just finally decided to grab and replace. For example, these Princess Polly jeans I have wanted to get a second pair since I bought my first and I was just hesitant because of the kind of trendy waistline but when I wear my other pairs it's really I feel really confident and I feel like it's really flattering so then I bit the bullet and bought a second so just keep that in mind we do want to think through our purchases just a little bit um, but this month, just a short and sweet haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We're currently sitting at 69 subscribers and I'm so excited. Um, so thank you guys to those of you who are subscribed. And comment down below what kind of videos you want to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!